Hello, preschool families. This is Principal Martin here, and I'm in the passenger seat of a car driven by one of our preschool staff, Ms. Martell. Hello. And we're gonna give you a quick tour of how to drop off your preschool child, and potentially if they have a sibling in the upper grades, them too, and also pick them up at the end of the day. So, we are now going to turn off our hazards and drive by Dunn Pond and show you how to get in. Here we have on the right, Dunn Pond, and we are entering what is known as our priest, our, our, well, excuse me, our Pearl Street access road. So we are currently on Pearl Street. There's the Dunn Pond entrance there. And we are now making our way onto the new Gardner Elementary School Pearl Street entrance. And so you would come up here, and I will warn you, um, the traffic uh, can be quite long, so plan accordingly, preschool parents. Now, as you are driving up with the other families here, you will stay in this lane. The car line will be to your right, and you can see they will continue and form this line on the right. You, however, will head past. This is your preschool lane. Now this preschool lane is specifically designated for preschool parents to enter into our building. You can see the arrow pointing straight ahead. Um, however, once we approach this spot, you are actually going to turn right too, but you're not, you're going to stay in this lane. So let's keep going. Here's the new Gardner Elementary School and there is the preschool wing. So now we're gonna turn right. And as you can see, the line for the kindergarten through fourth grade families is still to the right, and they will be waiting in line most likely. You, however, will pull up to what we're calling the preschool parking lot. And so you are going to pull up, not the first left, but the second left. This is the preschool parking entrance. Now, this is full of cars right now. However, on Monday, this will be reserved for preschool parking. So you will, Ms. Martell will park in one of the spots. There's no spots available at the moment, so she's going to park in a handicapped spot. Of course, if you are handicapped, you of course can always use this, but, um, and then we'll park our car and we'll climb Hi, Principal Martin again. So we have parked in the preschool parking lot and it's now time for you to bring your preschool student in to the preschool entrance. Now they have a separate entrance than the rest of the students who are part of the other parent drop-off uh, line, the K through four students. Now, I know some of you also have K through four students. You would also bring them in with your preschooler. And I'm gonna show you how that's done. So after you get out of your car, you walk onto the sidewalk here. Now, over there is the main uh, drop-off entryway for the K through four students. You will not be going that way. Uh, once you park, you'll be walking to the back of the preschool wing on the sidewalk. So, come on with me. Mr. McGann, one of our music teachers, will be directing you, and there will be some signs, but we're gonna walk on this uh, sidewalk here, and we are going to enter preschool on this crosswalk over here. You can see there's still planting in some grass here. Uh, hopefully that will come up soon. Now, here is the preschool entrance. It's in the back of what we label the C wing or the preschool kindergarten wing. Um, and you can see here is a crosswalk. Now, the tricky part with this is, this is also where all our parent, uh, or excuse me, all our student drop-off um, cars are lined up, dropping off their K through four students. Now you, however, are going to just walk in with your preschool student, and I'll show you what to do with your K through four student if your preschooler has an older sibling or you're, you're bringing uh, an older um, student in uh, for a, a friend or a relative. So we wait for the signal from the staff to bring us across so that we don't um, obviously get hit by um, 
cars, but also so that we don't clog up the, the parent drop-off line. So we wait here until our student drop-off line. We wait here until a staff member signals, signals us to cross. That's very important. All right, and I am going to walk across here. Now, once you get to this spot, you'll likely see some K through four students walking along here, going to their entryway. It's at this point that if you do have a K through four student, you can send them on in. And then you can bring your preschool student to the preschool entrance. And there it is. And there'll be staff there waiting to greet your child and bring them in. I hope everyone has a great weekend and we'll see all our preschool friends on Monday the 19th. Take care.